we really think that Maple lets the students push boundaries that they couldn't with any other tool. Um, it incorporates all aspects of their mathematical understanding um, from algebra through geometry into the calculus. It's a tool that will start them in grade nine and last them well through their university career. Um, it's a, Maple's a tool that really opens doors for them, not only in mathematics, but in the sciences. Um, it takes all of their, their formal understanding and puts it not only in, in an algebraic context, but in a graphical context. They can bring their programming skills into play. Um, they can communicate with other people from around the world by exchanging their documents. It really is a, an environment for them to play mathematically. The, the in, initial phase for our use of Maple was of course with the calculus. When the students were already heading off to university, they were becoming more accustomed with advanced mathematics, with the mathematics that Maple is more accustomed to dealing with. Um, we then sat back and said, well, why not start the learning curve earlier? And we began with grade 10 mathematics. Linear systems is both a very heavily algebraic topic, but also has a graphical component. And so we introduced it to the grade 10s at that level, beginning with the idea of substitution and leading them through the algebraic process. What really surprised us was how quickly not only did they catch on with the two by two, but they began to say, well, what would happen if I had three variables? And by themselves, figured out the process to do a three by three. Uh, the, the students being students, they then said, well, what would happen if I went further? That led into the graphical part. Um, the students understood that a two by two gave you the intersection of two lines, while then the graphical component for a three by three began a huge discussion about three dimensional graphing. That's not something they can really do without the use of a tool like Maple. Very often, as a mathematics classroom teacher, we, we talk about mathematics being a search for patterns. And we want to have the students experiment and see how different variables, different variable values affect a given situation. Um, doing it by hand, of course, is extremely tedious and the search for the pattern overwhelms the actual pattern recognition. Um, doing it with a graphing calculator um, can be clumsy um, in terms of the programming, but also the window is small, there's a, there's a, there's a loss of color, um, there's a loss of speed. Um, when doing animations with Maple, the student can very quickly develop a situation very nicely move the value um, on the slider and also provide an animation. Um, this can also be uh, incorporated into a whole document that can be distributed amongst other students, um, can be projected onto a whiteboard and have the student explain the process as the animation occurs. Um, it's very handy that all of this can be bundled into one document and sent from, from both student to student and student to teacher, um, all wrapped up in a word processed environment. I think when it comes to the, sort of the administrative side of teaching, the development of assignments, the development of tests, Maple really helps the math teacher in terms of the flexibility, uh, the ability to mark up a document, the ability to mark up a graph, the flexibility in actual creation of the graph, the zooming in, the zooming out, the changing of parameters. It also helps in terms of finding problems that have nice answers, being able to work backwards very quickly, um, develop a whole series of questions to allow for variability within the classroom, um, it really does help the teacher as an instructor um, developing lessons, developing questions that will work out in a meaningful way for the student without uh, spending a great deal of time. The students quickly recognize that Maple is a sophisticated tool, that it's of uh, considerable weight both in, in terms of ability and in terms of um, the, the breadth in which they can look at things. Um, Maple helps extend the student's understanding of mathematics as not just algebra that there's something far beyond what they're doing now that continues to grow. It also helps them understand that mathematics is, is a growing um, idea, that it, it continues to expand in, in far different directions. Um, very often they see a textbook and that's the limit of mathematics. Um, the fact that this is a software that allows them to experiment uh, lets them extend the idea that there are other people out there experimenting about mathematics and letting the subject grow. I think that's a huge step forward in using a professional tool like Maple.